It was the core. It was the core. Is the, is the green thing a health? It was the core uh, all along. Oh, I got stumped. No, tiny thing. <laughs>
Oh, well, that is that. <laughs> Dude, Die Hard, sure. Die Hard, I remember, I never played that because it was always like $2 in the arcade. <laughs> expensive it was not maybe not two dollars but it was at least one dollar and there was plenty of things that were a quarter and i was just like screw that and you, you probably died in like two seconds yeah well it wasn't easy either it looked like it looked like whoever was playing it would would not get very far like they would this, get this killed game, by the first terrorist this game looks amazing this is great yeah this is like on the level of Star Fox 64 like but but free roaming in the tank, whereas in Star Fox you were on uh, rails. Yeah, exactly. I think that this was one thing that played. It was like certain consoles just kind of dominated certain genres, and the whole like vehicle destruction genre PlayStation oh. had on lock. Like, well, because I I, f I feel like a huge part of that was Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal, exactly. Right. And it just made such a name. Because Twisted Metal, I don't know the last time you played the original or like Twisted Metal Two. <laughs> oh, no, dude! I, but it, I, have, I have fond memories it, of it. It no. looks it looks much worse than this game. <laughs> it looks so realistic. It's so muddy. It looks <laughs> yes, it's very real. Oh, a minefield. Oh. I <laughs> um I have a memory like the first time I played PlayStation. It was prior to the release of the N sixty four. I was at my friend Adam's house, and my memories of what those games looked like pale in comparison to what they actually looked like. Like in, yeah. my, in my memory, Twisted Metal was like a photorealistic. Yeah. Like it was, it was like every bit as real as the latest Hollywood CGI. And uh, I remember thinking that about it's not Doom Two on PC. Yeah, Do Doom Two. I remember thinking that the Zombie Man looked like people like real i had that exact same feeling yeah it's really i, th great. I think it you helps know what? the the damn the damn uh, tank from star fox is a ripoff of this well it's all well it's also a ripoff of uh panzer dragoon i think star fox, star fox uh, stole is a... liberally from panzer dragoon I mean, the tank in Star Fox kind of looks different, but the but the whole like. But also, hover... well, wait a second, wait a second. Isn't wouldn't Panzer Dragoon, if anything, be a ripoff of Star Fox? Well, you could you could say it was a ripoff of the original Star Fox. Well, okay, I don't know if there was a tank. I feel like sixty four was the first appearance of the tank. I have to so, look up when, when did Panzer so Dragoon was, 2 come out, though. Tiny because... Tank was absolutely before Star Fox 64, in my estimation, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, oh, sure. you're talking about Star Fox 64. Okay, I thought... Yeah, yeah, because like, I, don't, I don't think there was a tank in uh, the Super Nintendo that you, that you could drive in the Super Nintendo one, unless I'm wrong. Gotcha. I don't know. I feel like the, the, the tank and the submarine were new in 64, but... Ah! I mean, in Panzer Dragoon 2, so you can have a... It's not really a tank, but it's like a running animal shooting stage. Oh, nice. And that is very similar to the the ground shooting in Star Fox. I, yeah. No, I meant just the design of the actual vehicle. It, yeah, that that's that's accurate. Like this sure. sort of... It almost is like this, this little mini chibi-looking kind of tank and... It has the has has the two the twin hover jets that are vertical that like send you up in the air. Oh, and... but uh, my sources tell me that uh, Tiny Tank came out in 1999. Your source actually makes it a, a pretty late release for the PlayStation. Oh, okay. And, yeah. Then um, probably probably that was after Star Fox. Then Star Star Fox came out in I think uh, 97. It was for sure before 99. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, I guess that makes more sense. That makes more sense. That uh, I mean, obviously, just because it's a small tank doesn't mean it's a ripoff. I mean, I think that also just to look at these graphics, they're so polished that it, it makes sense that it's a later PlayStation it's, game. Honestly, yeah. it's very shocking that this is PS One. It looks yeah. like amazing. Like all the lighting effects and um... it just looks crisp. You know, like the view Ooh. distance is good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did I blow up? Props. Oh, are you? Oh, oh no, the tiniest tank. 
Oh wait, that looked like you died. Did you? Or was that? Did you just get an extra life? Uh, I do have lives. I think I used a life. Oh okay. Mhm. Mm oh yes, I got the hat. Oh, I took his the hat. The latency hat. Dro dropped a little bit. I can't. I can't see it. What? You can't see it's, that. Cool. It's, a, it's a little grainy to tell where the hat is. Uh, okay, no, it's, it it's, com it's coming back a little bit. There you go. <laughs> is it? Is it? It's. It looks almost like a graduate's cap. It's like a cowboy hat. Oh, okay. Now, now I'm seeing it. Now I'm seeing it. Okay, good, good, good. Now yeah. you see it. Now you <laughs> see it. I destroyed the generator. Why are these? Oh yes, it's almost now nostalgic for me to witness games being played where it doesn't like immediately tell you where to go next. Yeah, it, just, it makes it gives me I, that old school game feeling. That's right. Yeah, that I thought I I destroyed this generator, so I thought that means it should have shut down some kind of a barricade. The yeah, those barriers. Are you delivering this hat somewhere, or is it giving you some kind <laughs> of, of power? It it kind of just went on my head when I drove. Rich Retrieve the hat. I don't think it had anything to do with... Protect the hat at all costs. I mean, that actually sounds more like modern gaming. This game is freaking awesome. Maybe. Yeah, I, I, it looks like so much fun. Yeah, I I want to play this. It's it's. I'm going to get this. Just blow the up. I'm also a huge fan, I'm sure you would agree with this, Matt. I'm a huge fan of any game that shows an explosion by just being like a sprite of a, a video of an explosion. Like that's... I, Yeah, the, the, the best example of that, and it's not a video of one, it's just like a good animation of one, but Blast Core for N64. Yes. Oh yeah, Blast, Blast Core. I love awesome. the explosions in Dude. that. That game's great. Mission so, complete. I, oh, you did it. <laughs> I'm I'm almost thinking more like in Duke Nukem though, where everything was like based on a like a photograph. Yeah, I, those... I just love those those that era of graphics where everything was based on a photo. Oh, you know what's crazy? Uh, you don't have to do this in games anymore, which is go back. Oh, backtrack. <laughs> go, yeah, it's like the rocket platform is waiting. And it's like, all right, go back. Okay. Guess you I'll... could just warp me there. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is. I... This is not meaningful. I have <laughs> I I uh, have mixed feelings about it because it it is a hallmark of bad bad level design in in you know many ways. But uh, I don't know. What if the platform was just over there and not like right in front of you as the level ends? Like. <laughs> But Matt, what about all your critiques of uh, of Turok and all the backtracking in Turok? There isn't as much as as I thought that as I I remember there being a crap ton of it. But well, every everything was arduous when we were kids. It yes, was also it was sure. a lot harder when we were kids. For, and also the the remasters of Turok made the levels more sensical. Yes. Um, but I remember there being like whole huge parts of the level that you would get to like a dead end and then just have to walk back until you figured out what you did wrong. Mm. And that was just because I probably wasn't being very observant and I was just like walking forward and trying to find more dinosaurs to kill. And like the way that I play games now is I look in like every corner everywhere as I'm going around so that I don't miss anything. And it, that strategy has made it a lot easier to like succeed. Mm. Yeah, playing games as a kid, you're just like, <clears throat> like trying to get to the blood. I want the blood. Going. You're just going. Yeah. <laughs> there, there is only forward. Yeah. Yeah. Just hold, hold. Wait, w. why can't I go forward? This is amazing. If a game had too many puzzles, I was like, no. No, I'm out. Uh, <laughs> too, hey, the, uh, this is a puzzle. No. I came here to play a video game, not a puzzle. Oh no. I have lots of no. I have puzzles in the closet and oh, I don't, you're, don't like you them. are wrong. 
Ben, I, I I was like, okay, Ben, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on blast because <laughs> put me on blast. I for like a decade I was like, Ben, play Half Life Two. It's the greatest game ever made. And I then you played it. And then you played it, and you were like, that game's boring. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I I have to say though, I found some of my critiques uh, echoed by other people who are revisiting the game now. I think it, it was. Just it's you're you're not alone in your assessment of the game that like there were certain sections that were too long there were certain sections that were these sort of obtuse puzzles that were kind of difficult and and made it <clears throat> made it so the game flow was a little bit stilted and like oh you would just get stuck in a room for like 30 minutes and you're just like what the f do i do and um i admit that that is kind of if you're trying to go around and blast people you know with your various weapons and then you get stuck in a room for 30 minutes it's like you could just say that that's straight up bad you know but but i'm but i'm not even critiquing like i mean my main problem with half-life 2 was things that maybe at the time didn't seem like a problem and I think that it's just the fact is that the, the game is a little bit dated. Oh, like, God, it hurts my like, soul. Like, <laughs> in, in that first section, there's, like, this, so this whole section where you're in the like, French. Like, it's, like, sort of a uh, L.A. River style. Yeah, you have like, to use, like a, like, a, like, a fan boat. And it's, like, a yeah. huge section of the game. It's, re it's really long. It's really repetitive. I didn't have a lot of fun playing it. Yeah. And, um... And it was also like kind of that section that's in games where the submarine battle you're you're, you're like um, you're thrown into the action, and then it's sort of like we'll tell you the story later. But first, here's this awesome action set piece, and I'm just like, okay, well this isn't that awesome, and I really would like to know what's going on. <laughs> and um, and it went on forever, and so that yeah, was that, my that section is that was my huge. modern interpretation of it. <clears throat> it, it it's very it's like i was playing replaying it recently and that section is very big um, like if if you played that in 2003 or whenever that came out you probably were having a blast you know i i remember it just being like i didn't notice the length because i was just so immersed in what the you know the world felt like and this you know being attacked by soldiers and I also, like, at the time that I played Half-Life 2, I hadn't really played almost any modern PC games. Like, I was in college, and it was, like, 2005 or 6, and, like, I was I was just getting, you know, getting a chance to play, like, Counter-Strike for the first time, and Half-Life 2, and, like, uh, it, it was sort of... I was definitely blinded by the fact that I just wanted to play these games so badly for so long. Um, and uh, whatever it was, I was going to like it probably, but that's just my bias. I think that if you gave it another chance and actually finished the game, that you would like it a little bit better. Yeah, probably. Uh, I mean, it's just like, there. I, I think that, I mean, I'm all about retro games, right? Like I love older games and I love appreciating them for what they are. But I also think that, like, sometimes there are aspects of games that just don't age well. Like, yeah. just, just <laughs> like, just there are aspects of movies or books or what have you that don't don't age well. Like, let's face it, most PlayStation games <laughs> yeah. visually did not age well. <laughs> yeah, it's like out of the out of the ten thousand game library, at least nine thousand of them are unplayable. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> like this, this is an anomaly. Yeah, dude, Tiny Tank looks amazing. Look at this disco <laughs> statue. This this thing is pretty cool. What um, what, wasn't uh, the original Ratchet and Clank? Was that a PlayStation One? Uh, no, uh, or, or, no, no, no. Yeah, no. Am I thinking of Jack and Daxter? Uh, Jack and Daxter. No, Jack and Daxter was PS2. I think those are all PS2 era. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is um, Crash. Crash one, two, and three PlayStation one. Yeah, and Crash Team Racing yeah. for and Crash you know, Team Racing, whatever that's worth. Oh my gosh, the, the Crash Team Racing remake I enjoyed quite a bit. It's pretty awesome. I was I was yeah. playing it back ba back when I used to be able to go to Ben's house. 
It was awesome. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> we're, almost, we're almost there. We'll get yeah, almost. Oh, you're talking. Are you talking about the Crash Team Racing? Uh, uh, the reboot. remake. Yeah. The, the PS4. Yeah, really fun. <clears throat> and it looked awesome. Yeah, that game looks sick. Both those reboots look amazing. Oh god. Plus, it also lived up to the fact that Crash Bandicoot is just like impossible. Yeah. Like, Crash, Crash Team Racing was also like comparably difficult. Yeah. Like you couldn't oh, you couldn't advance unless you got a first place. Oh, and in order to get first, riddle. you really needed to master this. Um, the drifting technique. The, dr the drifting. You could not win without the drifting. And it, and it was not easy to master that. It's like, it's more, it's actually a more nuanced and difficult technique than Mario Kart drifting, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That Mario Kart drifting is a safe compared to that. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it took me, like, cause I, I was playing. You know, we, we played for a while trying to beat that one, like, Dragon's Cave or whatever. The cave, yeah. It took me a long time just to get the drifting down at a basic level. Yeah. It's, it's nuts. And the funny thing is, like, much like in, in Diddy Kong Racing, where you can beat the game, but then you have to kind of go back and play all the levels again. In, in Crash Team Racing, there's a similar thing, except the criteria for even getting any of the... the the little, uh, you know, prizes that you need to advance on that second tier of the game. It's, like, impossible. Like, it, I can't imagine anyone being good enough to, to 100% <laughs> crash team racing. I, I do, I love that there used to be, and even in, like, um, oh, no. Even in, <laughs> uh, uh, what, what's it called? Did In Diddy Kong Racing, there was a time trial mode where you had to race against uh, the ghost who was... The character TT, who is a clock. TT T. was super fast. And he was incredibly fast. And the only oh my way gosh. I could ever be. Yeah, you're getting beat. Oh, oh these rocks are just falling. Oh, God. <laughs> God <laughs> is this falling? I was about to quote that. Oh, my God. Oh. It's a good. It's a good reference. It's a classic. But it's a classic. Talk about right? things that ha ha both have and have not aged well. <laughs> well, <laughs> aged like a fine wine. <laughs> <laughs> aged oh, like a, a bottle of Charles Shaw wine. I was just gonna say that um, we we really shouldn't judge ourselves based on what we thought was funny when we were eighteen years old. I mean, yeah, it just, it's like we did, we were coming from a, just the perspective of, of that, like, because it was edgy and extreme, it made us laugh because, just because of that, like the extremity of it was funny to us. Sure. But, like now, but there's, no, there's no need to explain it though. 18 year olds are morons. We were morons. We were, we, yes, we, we were stupid. Yeah. I mean, I, there were so many things. I mean, just yeah. the fact that so so just a little backstory for for the oh audience my god like we used to do a radio show together and <laughs> and there's hours of recordings of our radio show and last year when the pandemic started i went back through all of it and listened to all of it. <clears throat> and it's like the most embarrassing i couldn't even listen to it. like 80 percent of it is so embarrassing and not wow. because of what you guys said because of what i said like I'm wow. just embarrassed of myself. So in conclusion, I was a moron. Oh my gosh! Like the, you know, like <laughs> that guy blew up at... immediately. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, he was. And uh, you, you got his I green got orb. Oh, oh my god! Guys. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, those things look more menacing than they are. Yeah, they look uh, really scary. <laughs> then, you, then you came up with your cowboy hat and just decimated. That's right. You know, I like how you just have this hat now, and it's like <laughs> a part of your. It's like F you. I have a hat. <laughs> maybe, maybe in World Two, you get a different hat. Anyway, anyway, I was just saying, like, yes, there are, like, to go off what you were saying, Matt. There are amazing young people. The 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 kids who organized the March for Our Lives. I think we're yeah. in our early college. Yeah, exactly. Gre Greta Thunberg, like these are, these are amazing, extraordinary. Oh, individuals. that's a tougher one. I I would not have uh, been one of those kids. I was the kid yeah, who was I, not I, sitting watching E Bombs World, laughing my ass off. But uh, then there's Tiny Tank. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is a really tough uh yeah i don't here. i can't defeat them they i don't what know ha what happened to those easy guys uh that's yeah too, that's too hard. i oh, guess no, you died <laughs> oh my hat's gone oh the hat oh oh that's kind of like ghosts and goblins in a certain it's like set. a shield well i don't think it was a shield i think I just, it was like a cool thing you got after beating that first boss, and then if you die, your hat goes away. Yeah, there's probably... You know what? Yeah. Just turn turn the game off. I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to see this anymore. Probably, <laughs> probably Tiny Tank speedrunners in that community. I can't move. Oh, no. Stuck on the wall, buddy. Oh, shit. Uh, they, they did get stuck on the wall. Like, uh, uh, 100% uh, hat, hat. Uh, any percent no hatless. Uh, <laughs> Sp hat based speed running. Yeah, exactly. Like if you if you beat the game, I'm stuck on this guy. If you beat the game deathless, then you are still wearing the hat. <laughs> I don't. I think I have to. I think I maybe have to shut down. Yeah, that I reactor think thing. Getting, getting power from the core, and they are invincible. Power from the core. Power from the core. Power, Power from, from the core. core. Power from, from the core. core. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were we saying about uh, having different senses of humor <laughs> when we were eighteen? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that that was exactly uh, it. That was that was you nailed it. Power <laughs> from the core. <laughs> uh, shoot the green one until it's red, or vice versa. <laughs> Shoot the red one till it's green. Yeah. Shoot the green one till it's red. I'm, I'm, I'm that guy who, because he doesn't know specific advice to give, he just gives all the advice, and then he just hopes that one of them was right. Shoot, shoot the green, and or the ground or the cactus, <laughs> or simply put the controller down and walk away. Plug the controller into the third port. <laughs> Plug the That's controller it. into the third port. That's a good solid two reference. Well, it is, except you plug it into the second port because there's only oh, my bad, my two bad. ports. But you That's know what? What the hell? These guys are really. <laughs> these guys are bearing down on you. Yeah. Now wait yeah, a second. Seems... I d I destroyed that thing, so maybe you could. That was them. that was their source of power. I don't. Well, maybe. <laughs> Power. <laughs> oh wait, no. There's. Is there another you one? Didn't destroy it. You I... didn't destroy it. It just went out of the view distance. You thought it was gone. Uh, maybe you're trying to turn them green. I don't know. Do they start red? Uh, they start red. They definitely oh, okay. start red. Okay. Um. It starts flaccid. No. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, yes, and tell me more, Ben. It becomes engorged. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, you're gonna get a game over, I my know. bro. Okay. It's oh, you did it. Okay, so yeah, oh, there. Yes, you wow. did it. Fantastic. So, the question is, can these eyes actually get hurt now, or what's going on? Is there another core oh. from which they are gaining power? No, look. He fell down. Oh, you destroyed one. Yes. Is that it a was health? The core. It was the core. It was the core. Is the, is the green thing a health? It was the core uh, all along. Oh, I got stumped. No, tiny thing. <laughs> no, your head came off. <laughs>